you. People who are wheelchair bound and families with children were rescued this afternoon in a rural section of southeast Dallas County. All afternoon, fire crews made multiple trips into the community to save people. More than a dozen people needed help. Fox 4's David Centendry continues our flooding coverage live from Dallas County. David. Well, Heather, this road is still flooded and over to my right, you can see water pooling in someone's front yard. It was nine feet deep earlier today, according to firefighters. And in total, they say they had to rescue 18 people. Dallas County Fire Rescue is bringing people to safety in southeastern Dallas County Monday as floodwaters inundated mobile homes and trailers off Beckett Road. Oh man, it's waist deep. Nolan Williams and his two-year-old dog, Reba, were among those rescued. How scary. Hey, when you can't walk very far like I can, it's really scary. You know, I can only walk about 30 yards at a time. An older gentleman in a wheelchair was seen being rescued on a makeshift raft. Children in the arms of firefighters being carried to safety. The water is now contaminated with oil, gasoline, and diesel from RVs on the property, according to Dallas County Fire. They spent several hours assisting people who were stranded. The water more than four feet high, according to rescuers. Earlier in the day, as high as nine feet Yes, it got really bad really fast over here, and I didn't even realize that it came this far up until I drove down here, and I was like, oh, that's crazy. You can see the fire truck pulling up behind me right now. That is carrying a group of people who are being rescued. The truck has rescued more than a dozen people today as it's made several trips down to that community that's flooded out. I was in my house. Eight-year-old Isabella Heipel says the water took over quickly. She says she's homeschooled and was with her grandmother. I just thought it was going to be a little flood and then I just didn't think about anything that it was going to be that big. Thankfully, at this location, everyone's okay. Yeah, everybody got out. A flood like this is rare, according to ones living here. I have never seen it flood like this. So, never seen it like this before? No, never. Williams is grateful for the firefighters. He says if it weren't for them, he and Reba might not be alive. I'd have never made it. You saw the dog, Reba, in that story. Well, according to firefighters, they rescued nine dogs and one cat from this community. Also want to point out that earlier in the day on a different section of this road, there was an elderly woman who was stuck. She was rescued. Again, no injuries to report. Heather, back to you. Hey, David, quick question for you. Just looking at the road behind you, I mean, as night falls, it's that much more deadly to drive and you can't see how deep the water is or if water's covering the roads. Are there barricades or anything to keep people out of this area? So no barricades in this section of the area. I will say when you come onto this street about a half mile away, there is a barricade warning people of what's going on, but there is room for people to get around it. A few moments ago, I did see a truck that stayed on the left side of this road and it drove through. He said he had some pets back here to get to, so he made it through just fine. Not saying we would recommend that, however, at all. But I will point out that in this area of unincorporated Dallas County, we have been driving through it all afternoon into the evening. And there have been multiple times when we saw flooded roadways and there was no way we would take a chance. We just decided to turn right back around. And a lot of other people who we saw were doing the same. But again, as you mentioned, at nighttime, you really know, you really never know what's on that other end. Heather. Well, and we heard from first responders today, don't go past the barricades. That's why they're there, because that one person might have made through. But yeah, you don't know what's ahead for the next person.